Highland Fest is this weekend. Yeah, we always enjoy Highland Fest. And we'll get together in St. Paul celebrating year 32. Ooh. Tons to do out there. It starts on Friday, but Allie Lucia is there live getting you ready this morning. Hey, Allie. Hey, Jason, there is plenty of music, family fun, and of course, art to go around all weekend long for Highland Fest. It's in its 32nd year, and I'm joined by a newcomer to the event, Dana Bourne. And Dana, you chose leather as your medium, a very functional art. Why did you choose to work with leather? Because it's a very new thing for you. It is. I've been doing it a year now, and um, I picked it up, and it just flowed really nice. So it felt good, and, and I start creating things that were awesome. You're based in Stacy and you brought some of your products with us this morning. You told me some of these purses take you about four hours to make, but what is the process for you from start to finish? Well, first thing I do is pick out the leather that I want to use, and I use a lot of raw edges and um, blemishes, and I, I try to highlight the texture of the leather itself. And from there, I just pick the pattern that I want it to look like and, and start sewing and embellishing. So are you excited to uh, team up with this long-standing event here in the St. Paul community? I am. My first year, so um, I'm ready. <laughs> well, good luck and enjoy the weekend. Chad Curran has been the co-chair of this event for almost a decade. And what makes this such a long-standing tradition here in this neighborhood? Well, it's a really family-friendly community event. Um, the community has embraced us, supported us in a lot of different ways, and it's just a lot of fun to have right here in the village. Now, it starts off on Friday, and you guys have live music, plenty of food, and, of course, arts and crafts. But for families, uh, what can they enjoy most when it comes to this weekend-long event? Yeah, Friday we'll start at 5 o'clock with a community picnic. So the Nook is going to provide burgers, and they can come on down for that. And then we'll have a movie in the park, which is always fun to sit outside and watch a movie with the family. Um, Saturday morning we'll get started with Zumba in the park. Do you do the Zumba? I don't. I don't, <laughs> I don't dance, I guess. Um, so there's a lot of great family uh, fun events that, uh, that will be happening right here on the field. Um, and then Chris Hockey is here Saturday night, so a lot of fun. Sounds like a great weekend. It looks like the weather is going to be beautiful. So things kick off here on Friday afternoon, and this event runs all weekend long. It's in its 32nd year, and it really is a great tradition for everyone who not only lives here in the neighborhood, but all across St. Paul. Allie, tell Chad I'm only coming if he does Zumba right now. Shows me a move. Uh, I will let I will let him know. Jamie Mucus told told me to tell you that she's uh, she wants you to do Zumba right now. Otherwise, she won't come to the event. <laughs> Are you serious? I don't even know what, I mean, I watched it last year, but I, know, I need some music. I need some music. All right, we'll work on that. We're going to get some Fair music enough. for you at the 6 o'clock hour. Perfect. Thanks, there you Allie. go, Jamie. <laughs> I'm sorry, if you're going to be interviewed live on this program, you have to be ready to do live Zumba on air, right? As someone who has been forced to do Zumba live on television, yeah. I would not wish that on my worst no. enemy. Can you show no. us your best Zumba move? Actually, do we have the footage? No. Yeah, just roll, we just roll, roll it. Work on that. Roll it. Do you think they just have them queued up at all times? Yes. Oh, the Zumba button. Good. Yeah, right After you guys do weather and traffic together, I have a feeling that we might be able to see some Zumba. Paint you guys. Uh, Highland Fest is this weekend. The annual get together in St. Paul is celebrating its 32nd year. There's plenty to do, and it all starts Friday. Ali Lucia live there this morning to show us a preview. Ali. Hey, Jamie. We have some. Dancing going on for you this morning. These dancers are from the O'Shea Irish Dance School, and the school has been open for a decade. And I'm joined by Natalie O'Shea this morning. Bright and early, you guys are putting on a show for us. Always oh, ready for it. <laughs> so your husband was one of the original River Dance cast members, and you guys started this dance school about 10 years ago. But why do you enjoy performing at Highland Fest? Highland Fest is where uh, my history is. I imported Cormac, but my grandmother's been here for 60 years. Uh, my mother grew up here. This is this is my home, St. Paul, right here. So walk us through what these students are doing for us this morning. Well, this is a classic hard shoe dance. You can hear all the rhythms, hopefully. Um, it's to a hornpipe, which is a classic Irish dance. So they're going here into a treble reel. You can see the fancy footwork, lots of noise with the toes, the heels, and the kicks and the ticks. 
And if people do uh, choose to come out to Highland Fest this weekend, you guys will be performing on Saturday, What or excuse me, Sunday, what type of performance will you be doing? Uh, well, this one, because it's a lot about the kids, we'll be doing more of an educational style performance. We have the best of our dance school and our music school, including some of our most darling little kids, three and four year olds, doing some of what their early learning is. And I know you guys keep it in the family, so you have uh, your children are out dancing for us this morning, too. Yeah, we have two out of our three in the shoes out there, hopefully with the biggest smiles. <laughs> Well, Natalie, thanks for joining us this morning. We'll let these guys keep dancing for just a little bit as we welcome this year's event's co-chair, Chad Curran. And Chad, you've been co-chairing this event for the better part of a decade. So how is Highland Fest such a family-friendly event? Yeah, very community-oriented event. Their community supports us um, all year long, and so it's a, it's a great event for families. Now, the event kicks off on Friday, and other than... Irish dancers. What else can people come out here and see? A big community picnic starts everything off uh, at 5 o'clock on Friday. We've got live entertainment, um, headlining Rat Pack Radio on Friday night, Chris Hockey on, on Saturday night. And uh, I know the weather is expected to be absolutely fabulous. And in our 5 o'clock hour chat, Jamie asked you to do some dancing for us, but it looks like you don't have to this morning. No, we'll let them take care of it. They're doing a great job. Well, Chad, thanks so much for joining us this morning. So the event kicks off on Friday afternoon, goes until Sunday, and things are all taking place right here in Highland Park, a long-standing St. Paul tradition. Well, gee, that's no fun, Chad. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Allie. Why, he lucked out, Jamie. Why can't Chad out. do the Irish yeah, dance? Yeah, have him do the Irish he dance. Didn't, he didn't bring the proper shoes this morning. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, sure. <laughs> all right. Valid. That's valid. Chad <laughs> got out of there as soon as that interview. <laughs> so he knew what was coming. Yeah. I think. Chad's already at the, at the Highland Grill right around the corner having Ooh. a little breakfast. If he buys me hash browns, we're good. <laughs> Otherwise, you are on the wrong side and of Jamie. And nobody Yuki's will ever chat. be interviewed live on our air ever again. No, there's just the threat of dance, forced dance. <laughs>